Hello and welcome back to Salesforce Hulk. In the previous video, we have created a UI in which we have put some buttons and fields. Now, same kind of an UI we'll be creating with the help of component library. So first, let's start by understanding what exactly the component library is. So component library is a set of reusable components that can be imported into your LWC project easily. And it also saves times and efforts because it offers the pre-built components that can be customized according to your project requirement. So we'll be taking the same UI what we have taken into the SLDS. So this was the UI in which we have created a component and in component there were two fields name and age and there was a button that was summit. Now same UI we'll be implementing using the component library and that will make you understand that what is the difference between the SLDS and component library. So let's create the UI and for that we need to jump to the VS code. So here we are onto the VS code. In this VS code you need to create a component. So uh, component library example right so this is the name of the component you'll just put it down and we'll go to the html part because we need to only create an ui we are not giving any functionality so here are on we are on to the html part now for that we need to uh, we need to see that what are the uh, how we'll be putting the elements inside that so for that we need to go to our browser and in browser you need to search for uh, salesforce component library right so we'll be going to that and in that salesforce component library we'll be just go to the first line so this is the particular uh, component library which will be having all the components which has which has been created by the salesforce so you can see on to the left hand side there, there is an lwc uh, lightning web components so all the components which are related to lwc you'll be finding on to this part only so here's the quick find box so what we need to do we need to Put input and we need to go to this input part there are different kinds of input fields input address input field location name so all the fields will be having different kinds of functionality because in address we'll be having all the other fields which which are related to address a location name and rich text means the text area will be there right so we'll be taking the simple field here you can see that uh, this is an uh, pick list where they have given the different different examples like input text default, input text advance, time, date, time, email and all these things are there. So what we'll be taking, we'll be having that this is the input text field, this is normal field, other fields, input text field that is required. So it will be having a required that red extract. So we'll be taking the simple field and for that what we'll be doing this is the particular tag that we need to copy and i'll explain you what it is right so here i'll copy this so this is a lightning input type equals to text and label is enter some text okay so uh, we'll write it as in only name right because the field name was name only so this is what the thing is this is the first input that we have created. Now what we'll be doing, we'll be pasting it again and the input type will be now, it will be number and it will be what? Age, okay. So we have created two input fields. What is that? That these are the components and what is the component name? Lightning input, which are already created by the Salesforce in the component library. And these are the attributes that you can pass inside those components right so this was the uh, first thing now what we need to do we need to create the button as well so what we'll be doing for that we'll again just go to this quick find box and we'll search for button and we'll click on button now you can see that they, they there are the various kinds of buttons which are there brand base neutral brand outline destructive destructive text and success so here as well, we'll be taking the same button that was the brand button and we'll copy this thing. Okay. And this has been copied. So you can see the variant is what brand. The label is, I'll make the label as in submit. Title, you can uh, give any title and this title will be shown whenever you'll be taking the cursor to that button. Okay. 
so i'll i'll just write title here only to make you understand another attribute is on click that we'll be uh, learning in the further part that what is this on click and these are the classes which are by default put on to those buttons okay now what i'll do i'll save this thing and i'll uh, try to deploy this so is exposed is true target and we will we will be specifying targets here and here is it will be lightning home page target close target okay so we have done this thing now what i'll do i'll deploy this component onto the org so deploy this source to org there is some error which has been there let's see what error has been there i think i am missing something uh element targets must be terminated okay okay this, this is the mistake that we have done targets we need to make it targets so again deploy this sorry targets target now we'll deploy this okay so it has been deployed successfully now what we'll do we'll log in into our salesforce org so now i am on to the uh, this uh, salesforce org in salesforce org you need to uh, follow the same steps that you need to go to the sales app and inside the sales app this was the component which we have created using the sldas part so what we'll do we'll edit this page and we'll delete all the other components and we'll again go to and we'll put the component that we have created right now so it is taking some time delete and now what we'll be doing we have taken this component library example so we'll just drop it save it and just go back okay now you can see that fields and buttons are there but fields are but fields and buttons are coming with that one field is taking the whole width another is field is taking the whole width okay so now how to correct that thing okay so uh, we have seen that to correct this thing we will be using the concept of grid so for grid you will be using the sldas only and for that what we need to do uh, you need to search for sldas and you will be going for that and we'll be going for grid in this and we'll just create a grid and inside that grid we'll be putting those elements right so let's see what code we need to implement and same code we have implemented earlier as well so we'll copy first we'll create a grid so we need to do this thing so first we have created this div that is a grid or a row and now inside this row we'll be creating different columns okay so we'll be creating two kinds of uh, columns uh, one one was this 6 of 12 because we need to divide it into two parts right and another will be of also 6 of 12 okay so we have created two different different columns in one column i'll be putting this input field name one and another in another column we'll be putting this age field right so these are the two columns now what i need to do i need to create a single column and uh, that will be having only button right so for single column what i'll do copy paste and 12 of 12 and i'll just put close this div okay now inside this what we will be putting we will be just cut this button and paste it inside this okay now we have done this thing now we'll deploy this thing into our uh, salesforce org after making all these grid changes and we'll switch to the org we'll just refresh it now now you can see that uh, the buttons uh, or the fields are onto the single row and the button is in the next row button is not coming into the center for that you need to uh, give the particular class i told you earlier as well that will be of alignment okay so that is related to alignment and for that you need to put this slds absolute align center and that you'll be putting inside this column so i've done this thing and again i'll deploy this 
and if i'll refresh it just make sure that hard refresh you'll be doing uh, with control shift r now you can see two fields are there and one button is there right okay so this is how we'll be creating a component using component library now i'll show you the code that what is the difference that uh, the one component we have created using component library and another component we have same kind of an component we have created using SLDS. So I'll show you the difference code difference and this was the this was the code. Okay. Now you'll be able to see that same kind of an component. This particular whole component has taken around uh, 40 lines of code. And this particular component, which we have created using the component library is done within the 20 lines of code. Okay. Now I think you all might be confused that when to use this SLDS and when to use this component library. First of all, there is no comparison between the SLDS and component library because all the components in the component library are created on the top of this SLDS only. So it totally depends on your requirement that if your requirement is getting fulfilled with the help of this pre-built components, then you can go for this component library. Otherwise, you need to go with the SLDS only. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, then make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment below on which topic you want our next video.